These are so soft. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I have another haul video for you guys. And I'm pretty excited about this one because I shopped individual brands instead of going to Ulta or Sephora. So I found some sale items. Y'all know I love sharing stuff on sale. And I got some stuff I'm excited about, so I can't wait to share it with you. But before we do, you know the drill. My family is growing. I love you guys so much, and thank you for all the support. I have something else special coming up for you, so make sure you stay till the end of the video. But if you're new, this is your first time watching, please join the family and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. I'm shopping today. I like to do hauls. I'll be shopping tomorrow. So these videos are not going anywhere. I do makeup reviews, tutorials. Uh, we also do a little hair. We do some nails, anything related to beauty with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So that is me. I won't keep you guys waiting. If you want to see what I picked up in my most recent haul and what brands I shopped, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're going to start off with this little bin right here. I try to keep my newer stuff separated so I can film in order. Now, whether I upload them in order, that's a whole nother story. And y'all already know <laughs> we have talked about it. But we're just going to go through this quick. I'm going to try to keep everything together by brand. But oh, it's just thrown in here. So we'll see. First, we're going to start off with some hair stuff. IGK had a sale, so I picked up a few things from them. I love their hair products for my natural hair and for my wigs, and I wanted to dye my hair again. I cannot stand looking at all these grays. I absolutely hate it. So I picked up one of their dye kits. I'm not dyeing my hair at the salon. I'm just not, and especially with doing relaxers, you dye your hair, and then you do your relaxer, and the relaxer strips the color. So... It just costs too much and it's just not that crucial. I don't care about highlights, all that stuff. I just want it black and I want the grays gone. So this is their 1-800 Espresso Permanent Color Kit. Hold on a second. It says 1-800 Espresso, which I thought was the color, but then this says it is a golden ash brown. I want it black. I don't know what I ordered. I think I ordered just, I feel like this is dark enough, but it's not black, black, but uh. <laughs> we're going to see. My hairdresser told me to do a semi-permanent and I've been trying, um, God, I'm picturing the brand I picked up. Oh, I can't think of the name, but it's one of those temporary DPU. I think is how you pronounce it. It's one of those temporary glosses that you put as a conditioner and then it works. It's covered my grays. I just want something permanent because I want it to last a little bit longer. So pick that up. The next thing I picked up is this IGK Antisocial Time Release Bond Building Dry Mask. So this is a dry mask that helps to restore softness and a healthy shine that you can put in your hair. I saw the way it was advertised was you put it in and sleep with it overnight and then you wake up the next morning and see the results. It's a innovative bond building spray mask that restores a healthy look and feel to dry damaged hair so it's lightweight provides deep hydration softens strands and adds shine without residue or rinsing which i absolutely love it says spray generously into dry hair in sections and just brush it through so kind of cool i've been slacking on my hair masks so i thought this would be something I can use while I get back into my regimen. The next item I picked up is their Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. It's a keratin-like treatment that helps with frizz control and it's also a heat protectant. So this one, I do believe you are supposed to use on, yes, damp hair and then blow dry smooth to finish. And then you can apply to dry strands before flat ironing for optimal results. It says this is perfect for fine to medium dry frizz prone hair. So yes, I had to pick this up and I can't wait to use it. Another item I picked up is their expensive clear gloss top coat. So this I believe is like a conditioner. Is it a leave-in? Let's find out. It says it gives you high shine and UV protection 
and it says apply to wet hair wait three minutes comb and rinse so it is like a conditioner but it is supposed to help restore hydration softness and sleekness and then add dimension to dull and color processed hair so right in line with, with what i'm about to do up next i picked up some stuff from laura geller and i have not shopped that brand in i don't even know how long but i'm gonna blame this her name is rose and i will try to remember to link or put her name somewhere on the screen but she has an instagram and I believe she has a YouTube, but I bought some brushes from her, started following her. She always does these gorgeous eyeshadow looks and shows texture and tips and tricks to make your makeup last. But she showed this eyeshadow palette and I was like, I need to have it. And it was by Laura Geller. So this is the Laura Geller collab with Wheel of Fortune prize winning eyes eyeshadow palette. I picked this up because back in the day, a long time ago, I had the ABH and was it the Makeup by Mario collab or Kim Kardashian called oh, Barbara. The whole reason you picked up the palette. Anyway, it was for a palette that I decluttered and I'm pretty sure it's ABH Makeup by Mario. It has to be. Or was it KKW? I'll put that on the screen as well since I'm having brain farts right now. But this is what the palette looks like. And when she reviewed it, she was like, this is literally that palette as far as the color theme goes. And I was just like, I want it back in my collection. So this is what it looks like. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Like it is the perfect neutral with a little bit of pops of color with the gold and the green and this kind of blue, which looks like what I have on my eyes right now. But I love that it has a black and I feel like you could get like perfect everyday gorgeous looks with this, but then you can also amp it up. And she did a look with it and I was like, it's done. I'm sold. I don't think I've ever had a Laura Geller palette. So that was another reason why I was excited to try it. I kind of want to swatch. I'm not swatching. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I wasn't going to because I have other palettes to show y'all and I don't want this video to be too long, but y'all know me. I got to swatch some of these shimmers of course this green and let's see what this black looks like so those are just a few of the shades right there and then where are we going to start these we'll go down here so that is that shade that i said is similar to what i have on my eyes that is the gold which huh? i don't know what this texture is it's kind of flaky like it's not a very thick formula there's that green and then there's the black which i mean i've seen more pigmented blacks but i still got a lot of pigment on my fingers if you're a little intimidated using black this one would be great to help build up and kind of build the intensity versus starting off too strong so i can't wait to play with this because we all know swatches don't tell the whole story and based on those swatches i'm like meh but based on her eye look, I feel like I'm going to be able to create some gorgeous looks with this one. Also from Laura Geller, I picked up one of her brushes. This is her bronzer brush. And I don't have a lot of bronzer brushes that are really big. I have tended to gravitate more towards the more contoured ones. But lately I've been using a bigger bronzer brush just to go over my contour and to help kind of diffuse and sometimes not wearing blush who am i not wearing blush but this is what the brush looks like and it's just a very oh got some little fluffies coming out of there very thick round perfect for bronzer in the hairline just you know blending out your contour or just if you want to put a little color on your cheeks so Really glad to have this in my collection. Y'all know brushes are expensive, especially good ones. So was able to get this on sale. Super excited about it. I also picked up one of her primers. This is the original Champagne Glow Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. I feel like I used to have this in my collection so long ago. And this was when I was oily. So I didn't really love super shimmery anything on my face. But now that my skin is more balanced, I do like putting glowy products under my foundation, especially a matte one, just to help them look a little more natural. As I'm getting older, I have come to appreciate a not so matte face. My face, I feel like looks beat right now and she's matte, 
but I used hydrating products underneath and then just put powder. But I'm just gonna see if I can show you guys what this looks like real quick so you can see it's not super glowy, but I feel like it's gonna be hydrating and you can see it's just gonna make your skin look healthy. Like I feel like this is something you could wear without even putting makeup on and it's just gonna make you look hydrated like you've been drinking your water, getting your eight hours of sleep and minding your business. Last product I picked up from Laura Geller is, I believe I had this before. No, this is one of her baked highlighters. This is a baked highlighter, French vanilla, and it is one of their, it's called Natural Glow. I have Gilded Honey. I've had it for years, not getting rid of it. There's nothing wrong with it. But I wanted to try this one because even though it looks a little light, it's giving me Laura Mercier... Um, God, what was the one? There was a matte highlighter and I kind of thought this was going to be the same. Oh, she is matte matte. Whoa. Low glow highlighter brings a touch of subtle radiance anywhere you want to brighten up. It is baked for 24 hours to create a rich creamy formula. Sweep on the cheekbones and inner corners. But y'all, this is matte. Like, it's matte. There is no shine in that. At all. So if you want... That is so interesting. I don't feel like there's any glow, but kinda. You gotta use a light. No, we're not putting that on. <laughs> I'm taking this out to try ASAP because I feel like this would look so good if you wanted to highlight a little bit, but you didn't have a lot of makeup on and you don't want the glowy streak on your face. I just feel like you would have to be careful with this because that one is a little light. I maybe, I don't know if there were darker shades, but We'll finesse it and we'll make it work. Next, I picked up two items from Amazon. Y'all know me and my nails. Anytime I can get nails that are pretty or on a discount, I'm gonna get them. I picked up a few other sets from Amazon and honestly, these don't wear as long as some of my other ones, but they're like five or six bucks. And I just got these for the design on them because I felt like this would be super cute if I'm wearing something that's an olive green. And so I saw it and was just like, oh, those are cute and they're $5. We're just going to put it in the cart. So these are glue on, but I don't mind wearing glue on if they're short because they won't be in the way for as long or as much. I had been having my eyes on this for a while and finally decided to pick it up. This is the What's Up Beauty Desert Monsoon Palette. They just came out with... It's Dragon's Eye, I think, and Low Key, that is in my cart. I'm stalking it. I'm not buying it right now because I haven't even tried this one. What if I don't like the formula? But these shades, y'all, of course you need to take that out. Look at how pretty this is. That blue is so gorgeous. And again, I'm a sucker for a palette that has a brown this shade. Because I will throw that in my crease and ignore everything else and then just go about my business. And then I love that there's a deepening shade. I love that there is this light matte shade. So you can do a completely matte look with this and go. Or if you want to amp it up, you have these gorgeous metallics. I have to. I have to swatch sun. Oh, we. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So sun is this one here. We're gonna swatch this. Of course, we're gonna swatch this blue. And let's see what this light matte pink looks like. Oh my God. So this is the matte pink. Very good pigment on that one. Here's the blue. It's not a multi-chrome. But she's gorgeous. And then this other shade is called Humidity, which is also super pretty. I love that kind of lavender icy pink. I feel like it is not, I don't know if y'all can see, but that is like a light pink purple. And then where are we gonna put this one? Let's put this here. Ooh, that is so, look at that shade and how shiny she is. She's thick too, super thick. So yeah, I <laughs> swatching those. <laughs> I think I'm about to get that other palette, but I'm gonna try it first. I'm gonna try it first, be a responsible consumer 
and just make sure that I like it. But the other one I think has multi-chromes in it. So what are we talking about? This palette's about 40 bucks and I think it's worth it. I decided to pick up some products from Makeup Forever. I also haven't shopped their brand in a while and I just finally got suckered into buying their HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder. Here's the thing. I swatched this in Sephora and I was like, you know what? None of these are my shade, not buying it. I don't understand why people are so excited, blah, blah, blah. And then when Makeup Forever had a sale that was more off than what Sephora offers, I was like, you know what? I still keep hearing talk people talk about how great this is. So I just, I got sucked in. So this is what the packaging looks like. Now, if this is the shade, Y'all, I need some help. <laughs> this is in the shade 4N67. So I picked it because it was a neutral. I felt like all the other shades, when I saw them, that is too dark for me. It's about to be summer. I'm determined to get a tan. I'm going to be at the neighborhood pool and I'm going on vacation. I'm determined. So I will be able to wear this. I do want to try to wear it by itself just to see like powder foundation Everybody keeps talking about how great this is. So I'm going to swatch it just to see. Because right now I am pasty. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little dark. Yeah, she's dark. But it's not horrible. It's not like bronzer dark. Can you even see that? I don't. You can see it a little bit. It's a little dark, but it's not horrible. It's just going to be a little red, so I'm going to have to be careful until I get some sun. But I've heard great things about this, and I do want to... I made a powder foundation routine, I swear, like two years ago. And I want to do an updated one, so I was hoping to try that, but I'm going to have to wait till I get darker. But y'all comment. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think about it. You'll see a review of that coming soon. Next, I picked up their... HD Skin Anti-Creasing Smooth and Blur Undetectable Concealer. I love trying new concealers. This is in the shade 3.6N. This had been on my... That is so light. Maybe. This has been on my wish list for a little while. And I think I swatched it at Sephora and some of the other shades. I just felt like we're not going to be good enough. Oh, that's not too light. That's actually a really good shade. Is that going to be my skin tone? This actually might be a really good shade for me to wear under my eyes on no makeup makeup days. Because it's neutral, it's not too golden. I feel like it's going to blend better. But we all know anything that says anti-creasing, I'm not going to find out. Not from just wearing it by itself because I'm going to powder it down. I just, even with powder sometimes, I will still have creases if I don't, if I'm not careful how I set it. So we don't do the just put it on and go. I may have to try that one day when I stay in the house and see what happens. But I feel like this shade, like you looked at it in the bottle and I was like, that's too light. And now I feel like that's almost my skin tone. So we'll see what happens, but curious about that formula for sure. I also picked up one of their lip products. This is their Rouge Artist Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 192. I feel like I have some small bullet lipsticks that I got years ago from Makeup Forever. But other than that, I don't have any of their liquid lips. And I was just intrigued by this color. I swatched it in Sephora and then I saw it on sale on their site. I think it was like 30% off. But this is what the shade looks like. So it is a very, very pretty neutral. Is that pink? She's not too pink. Good job, Barbara. Y'all know how I am every time I think I'm getting a nude and it ends up being a pink. But I thought the packaging was nice. It's kind of like, it's a lot. Like you're really only getting this much product, but then you have this big handle. So if it's something you're trying to just stick in a small purse, this ain't going to be the one. But I don't carry a small purse. I always have a big purse. So I don't want to take my gloss away. So we're not going to put a mat on top of this. But this will be in a video soon because I'm curious about the formula. Like I said, I've never tried it. And I think this shade is pretty cute for a neutral look. So let me know if y'all have tried these. What do you think about it? Is it going to draw my lips out? Curious to know what you think. The rest of this stuff is just some samples that I got from them. I have the HD Skin Foundation. Absolutely love it. 
This is, I've gotten these, I swear they do these little cards every time, these little bubble packs with their red lipsticks. And then, oh no, is this a full size? This is a full size product. This is one of their bronzers. I thought this was a like a little gift with purchase or something. This is their Artist Sculpt Sculpting Powder in S450 Strong Ebony. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's dark. Boo, where you going? Let me try to swatch her. It is very smooth and very dark. I swear, I see these online and I'm like, that's not going to be dark enough for me. <laughs> uh, if Y'all, if you've been watching my channel from the beginning, comment and let me know because if you have, we know the struggle with Barbara picking shades online. That is dark. It is so pretty though. So smooth too. Y'all know I'm gonna figure out a way to wear this. Even if I wear it as an eye color. I think I just wanted something small to stick in my makeup bag and travel with it. But she might be a little too dark for me to have for like everyday makeup while I'm traveling. All right. I'm sneaking this in here because I just wanna see who stays through the videos. I have been meaning to film a giveaway to say thank you to you guys for so long. I wanted to do it when I hit 2,000 subscribers. I don't think I did. And then I wanted to do it when I hit 2,500 subscribers and I didn't do it then either. With the move and just life stuff, I just, <laughs> I kept forgetting to be honest. And then I was like, just wait till the next milestone, but we're not waiting anymore. So I have this makeup bag right here that has some goodies in it. And I'm just gonna roll through these real quick. But again, I just wanted to do this to say thank you for the support. Thank you for the love and for sharing my channel because we're growing and you guys are just the best. So real quick, and I mean, I'll try to go real quick. First, we have Clarity Cosmetics, Stick It To It. This is their glitter glue. We have this Estee Lauder Micro Essence, so a little bit of skincare. We have a few sets of lashes. If you're a lash person, you're going to love this. I also have this mini Stila Liquid Stay All Day liner. We also have a full size of the Beauty Bakery Fla Better Not Bitter Flower. This is their setting powder. Another pair of lashes. We also have the Juvia's Place Nubian Glow Lip Balm. I have my own of this right there. Absolutely love it. Of course, I had to put in an eyeshadow palette. This is a Marc Jacobs. So this is something you cannot get anymore. And I have a backup in my collection. But I wanted to share. This is Fantasine. I will try to open it just to show you guys what it looks like real quick. But this is a neutral eyeshadow palette, so anybody can wear it. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And if y'all know Marc Jacobs eyeshadows, then you know this is a really good palette. So I'll just show you a quick little preview. But just super pretty, everyday light neutrals. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this palette for everyday looks. We also have some other little minis from Benefit. One of these is their Gimme Brow. This is also their Professional Deep Retreat Pore Clay Mask. And then the Professional. We have a NYX Setting Spray. We have this gorgeous blue eyeshadow single. And then two more products one of them is the Tarte maracuja oil also a little mini and then we have a tom ford lipstick y'all know my obsession with tom ford is real so much real that anytime i find something on sale that i that i like i will buy it and then forget i bought it and then buy it again so this is a lipstick i actually already have and bought it again when i went to the cosmetics company store this is in the shade wicked ways it is this gorgeous deep neutral brownish red but absolutely beautiful and I feel like it'll look good on a bunch of skin tones so I had to include it in this giveaway but that's all the products this is super easy if you've made it this far you know about the giveaway I might be nice and put it in the title but for a chance to win I need you to comment below what do we want to say 
comment below and comment 2500 to let me know that you watched because that is why we're celebrating 2500 family members and then also a way to contact you so if you have a handle on instagram or if you have an email address however if you put your email they're funky about that so like put your email and then put a space and then put you know, Gmail or Yahoo or whatever. So I have a way to be able to contact you. But if you can put your Instagram, that would be the best because it's a lot easier. So that is it. Of course, like this video, have to like the video, have to be subscribed, comment 2,500 and share your information for me to get in contact with you. We got to backtrack because I had some more stuff from Fenty in my other box down here. <laughs> so I also got this little sample of their Cherry Dub Daily Facial Cleansing Scrub, which I've never used. Probably going to use it tonight when I wash my face. And then the whole reason I placed the order, they finally put their perfume on sale. And I mentioned this in my fragrance collection. I already have this. And I bought it back up because the original was not here with me, but now it is. So I'm gonna probably take this one with me to travel. I don't know, we're gonna see, but yeah, got a backup of her fragrance. And then they also gave me this cute little bag. Ooh, this is actually really nice. It kind of feels leathery, but it has Fenty on it. And there's nothing in here, what's in here? Yeah, nothing in here. So cute little bag, but it's sleek black. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to find something to do with this. Maybe brushes when I travel, we'll see. Now we're moving on to Nomad Cosmetics. I finally ordered, I had to, I had to. I said when this palette came out, as soon as there was a sale, I was gonna grab it and that is exactly what I did. This is the Ghost Town USA palette. I watched Jamila, my favorite influencer who gets me to buy stuff, do a look with this and I was sold on just one of the looks that she did. She did a video with several but this is what the palette looks like so you can see it has that holographic ghost town i hope y'all can see i feel like this is probably just blinding y'all but love their packaging and then this is what the palette looks like y'all knew i was gonna have to get this right if you saw this advertised and you watch my channel you knew i was gonna have to get this the greens done deal i love that the browns are still somewhat neutral kind of warm but these greens over here and then she did a look i want to say she did like a quad or maybe it was this quad i feel like it was this one she did like these rows these rows and these rows and put looks together but i saw it and i was just like yep it is so pretty and i need to have it is this focusing i need you to focus girl and of course you see the embossing on there. So yeah, super, super pretty. Of course I'm swatching some cause Quicksilver is screaming. These are so soft. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Of course I need to do a green. We're going to do Calico. Yo, we're going to do Ghost Train and that Copper Penny. Ooh, Ghost Train is a duochrome. Copper Penny looks so, so pretty. So this is Copper Penny, yes. Body, thick, I love a thick eyeshadow. This is, what's she called? Ghost Train, so this is the multi-chrome, which I hope you can see her shifting a little bit. And then this is Calico, love me a green. And then this is Quicksilver. And then let's see if I can get a couple of these mattes because what we got? Calamity Jane, Stagecoach Mary. We're going to do the middle. Which other one do I want to do? Let's do Arrested Decay, which I think is the... That looks black. So this is Arrested Decay, which is a super dark gray-brown shade. This is... Stagecoach Mary Green, and then this is Calamity Jane, and then we have Bandit Queen. Gorgeous, stick it in my crease and go. Love me some shades like that. 
So I'm excited about this palette and I finally get to play with it now that I have showed it to you guys. Let me know if you want to see a look. I know this is not a new palette, but you know, sometimes you just want to see some of your favorite influencers, influencers do their own review of it. So if you're curious to see my take on it, comment and let me know and I will get that up for you. I also picked up the Royal Europe palette. I said I was not going to get this and I thought about just getting the multi-chrome shades in it. And then when I did the math, getting just the multi-chromes was almost the same price as getting the whole palette. And y'all know me, I want to get as much bang for my buck as I can. So man, spent a couple extra dollars and got the whole palette. But I eyeballed this when it first came out and I told myself I didn't need it. And I mean, reality knows I don't. But then it was on sale and I was like, okay, now I feel a little better about getting it because it is a more colorful palette. It's not something that you're going to wear every day, like to be able to just get a look out of this. But I'm a sucker for multi-chromes. I just am. And so that's what happened. I'm going to swatch the multi-chromes for you because, oh God, these are those thick, mm. ooh, calm down. These are those super thick, like. These are the ones that bring tears to my eyes. This is, did I do these in order? Imperial Crown, Gold to Green. This is Royal Orb, Green to Blue. This is Blue de France, oh, Blue to Purple. This is Edward's Crown, which is that purple to bluish too i guess and then this last one i love shades like this royal treasure Let's see if i can swatch this right <laughs> do you see that please tell me you can see that i hope you can this gets me every single time i let's do some mats try to dry my fingers off so this is great oh we ain't got no room Mar. uh let's try up here great haul look how thick that is Hall of Mirrors. Y'all, why is this so much better than the other one? What is happening? Ooh, this purple Buckingham Palace. These are so much better than the Ghost Town ones. I don't know what the difference is in the formula, but let's try Willanow Palace. I don't know what the difference is between those palettes. Like this is like pigments, intense color and chrome palette. This one says intense eyeshadow palette. So I don't know, maybe I had something on my fingers that was not making my swatches come out as good. This is sticking. But these, oh my goodness, I can't wait. We got a few more things from Nomad. I also picked up the Lip Salve. I got two of these. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I was just doing it to make sure I had enough for shipping. Didn't know that they made kind of skincare-ish items, but it comes in this little tin and I thought that was cute. And does it screw or you just pull it off? It screws. I'm not going to open this because I have a lot of lip products already open, but I hope this is good because this is supposed to be just like, I don't know. This was something with their golden age of flying, like, I don't know, Nomad Air kind of collection that they had. But it says it's vegan, cruelty free, all those good things. Okay, here we go. Smooths and protects, conditioning, rosehip, cottonseed, and jojoba seed oils, smoothing, soothing sea berry fruit, and camellia flower extract so lots of good stuff in here got two of them y'all know how that goes this is another little eyeshadow palette and honestly i picked it up because i always try to justify stuff like oh this will be so great to travel with i'm sure it will but so are a lot of the other ones in your collection but <laughs> i thought it was a very cute kind of neutral kind of low-key reminds me of like one of your little juvia's place palettes but I feel like this is like the perfect everyday neutral and that find your wing shade. Honestly, that's what did me in. 
and see the world. Let me swatch these two. Oh, it's thick. She's thick. All right. That shade every damn day. And that would be a gorgeous smoky eye. This shade is why I bought the palette. Not even going to lie to you. And I do like the neutral matte shades. Fly the skies. Ooh, that's dark. This is the darkest shade in the palette. And then this is the middle shade. So you already know. I see all the looks. I feel like I could do a glam, especially if I take that super light shade. You can use it as an inner corner highlight. This is a perfect everyday palette. So that was my reasoning for picking it up. I have another product I found from Fenty. This is their Plush Pudding Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. I love these. I have one on my nightstand. I think I have two backups and I got another one because I like it that much. I do feel like this stays on my lips all night better than the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I tried the Lawless Overnight Lip Filler one. I tried one from Milani. This is one of my new favorites. So picked it up on a discount. Y'all already know. I went shopping on One Size's website. I feel like stuff is in and out of stock a lot shopping at Sephora. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just go check their website. I was able to get this stuff on sale. Y'all, everything I get on sale. I'm gonna try to stop saying that, but just know, unless I say I picked it up full price, just assume I got it on sale. <laughs> say that right now. I picked up the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I have had this before and I almost used the whole thing. I'm almost out. So I picked up a backup. This stays in my travel in my travel bag. I absolutely love it, especially for competitions. My face stays on. People talk about it all the time. That's why I have the Instagram handle Barbell Barbie because this, the makeup thing has been way before I started working out which is now going on 12, 13 years. So that's where that came from. But wanted a backup of this, so grab that. I also decided, I think I got this for free. One of the puffs, I don't normally use these. I've been trying it out in my section here and I feel like it's been helping to make everything look smoother and really pressing powder into my forehead from my forehead lines. So I'm pretty sure I got this for free. I also got this for free. I remember this is their Ultimate Lifting and Lengthening Mascara, a little travel size. Haven't tried that before. I also got the Lip Snatcher Precision Lip Filler Pencil. This I did by myself. This was not a gift with purchase. This is in the shade Code Word, which I hope is a brown. I feel like she's gonna be more like a burgundy. She's not retractable. Yeah, that's a lot redder than I thought it was going to be. But I think I got this because I did my red lip look and I was like, I need a liner that's not quite red, red, but definitely not brown. And so I felt like this was kind of like the perfect to outline my lips with a red lipstick. I picked up two of the On Till Dawn setting sprays. These are the minis. Has to go in my travel bag. No question about it. Picked up two of those, and then I also picked up two of the full-size ones. So your girl is set. I think I have like three cans of this now, maybe four. I have one in my, in my bathroom, one in here, and then I have these two. So I should be good for a little while. But when I want my makeup to stay, stay, I will use the Charlotte Tilbury first, let that dry down, and then spray this. Baby, we're set, set. And then the last thing I picked up from one size, I picked up his powder, which I do have this already in the translucent shade, but I wanted to pick up the honey. This is sweet honey, so it's not super, super yellow, but I am getting back into my yellow powders. And you know what did it? I have, it's old. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, but I have a compact of the Sacha Buttercup powder and that stayed in my travel bag for a while. And I was like, you know, this yellow is not that bad, especially because I've been wearing concealers that are closer to my skin tone and more neutral. So then I'll take a yellow powder and kind of brighten that up. I just felt like you probably can't see the color. Oh yeah, you can see it. So definitely a yellow, but not too yellow. Like I can't open this. Why do you always make this so hard? Yeah, I'm not gonna open this, but she's a light yellow, so I can work with this. I don't like the ones that are super yellow, like my Fenty one. I think Laura Mercier's is also more yellow than this. So 
I know I like this powder to make my makeup stay. Y'all know Patrick is the queen of makeup to stay all day. So you have to have his products if that's what your goal is. And then last but not least, I bought some stuff from Odin's Eye. I have fallen in love with this brand and I watch a lot of people who buy stuff from them. I was just waiting for a sale. I wanted these palettes and I was waiting for a sale. I got the two palettes that were part of their, I don't know if it was called like their jewel collection. What is this? I don't know what that is. <laughs> but it's the Stone and Rock palette and then the Jewels and Gem palette. I could not pick between these two. I kept telling myself, don't get the one that has the green because you have enough green eyeshadow. Where's my tweezers? But who am I kidding? If I'm going to buy a palette, it's going to have green in it because that's one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. And in the other palette, I was just like, you know what? This is cute and it'll be different than what you normally have. But then the problem when I buy those is I don't wear them as much because they're different from what I have. This is the Jewels and Gem palette, which I'm pretty sure is the one that I said was going to be different. Why is it so hard to open? I love that these palettes have small, smaller pans. And this is what she looks like. So super, super pretty. And I do feel like it's more muted, more neutral. These feel dry. They feel dry, but I feel like they are very, oh, that shade is so pretty. That's one of the ones that made me be like, I need to have this. Um, but they got some oomph behind them. So we can do dry as long as the pigment comes through. And then that's that purple one, which is also a duo or multi-chrome. Those are really, really pretty. So let me see, I need another finger. I want to see what this blue looks like. This is Rapture. Oh, ooh, yes. Oh, that is so pretty. That goes with my shirt. That is super cute. Okay, we're, we're feeling pretty good about that one. But of course, this other one, Stony Rock, I had to get this one. This one also, the Unicarton looks exactly like the palette. So that means I'm probably not going to keep those. But y'all... Oh my God. I would have been so upset if I didn't get this. I would have been so upset if I would not have picked this one. And I tried to talk myself out of it saying I didn't need it because I have the Angeshka palette. I was able to get that one from somebody off of Poshmark, I think, or Mercari. But it has that green blue duochrome situation right there. I hope y'all can see that. I just, I couldn't pass it up. I'm a sucker. I am a sucker. I know this and I'm okay with it. So of course I'm going to swatch that one. That green blue boo will get me every single time. Oh, this is pretty. What else are we swatching? Mm, let's try this golden. Oh, she's soft. Oh, what is up with that? Okay. I just swatched this gold in the middle. There is literally a dent in the middle of that. And she is flaky. Let's put her down here because I feel like she gonna make a mess. Yeah. You have to be careful with that shade because that is all over my finger. Let's see this one. I love bronzy shades like that. And then we have another deep not this, this one's deeper. So glad that those are different. And then that green to blue multi-chrome. Yeah, definitely glad I had to get this one. All right, guys. So that is it for my haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Remember, there's a giveaway. Don't forget to do all the things. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, comment 2500 and leave a way for me to contact you and I will choose a winner. Good luck to you all. Thank you again for all your love and support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.